Hi guys, this is Matthias, and I'm coming at you here with uh, my first and, I guess, only Battlefront 2 video because, as the title suggests, this game has now been, by me, refunded. And obviously I want to share my thoughts about this. I know there's uh, quite a number of you guys who are curious about what I think about it and uh, what it is about this game that I don't like. Now, I think that the most important feeling I have about this game is that I don't really feel anything at all, or, well, very little. And the fact of the matter is, I'm actually finding it really hard to make this video because I don't really know what to talk about. There's just nothing there. There's nothing interesting about this game to bring up. At least, that's what I feel like. Now, obviously, oh. the usual things about uh, an, a DICE game, a new AAA title from DICE, is that it looks really good, it sounds really good. But we already knew that that's that was going to be the case because, well, when it comes from DICE, that's always the case. They make really good graphics. But the game, this game, is just so shallow. It's just because it looks good doesn't really make it interesting to play it. And that is really what I feel about this game. Now, to be fair, aside from the beta, which I played quite a bit of, I only played the full version a few hours. And if I knew more about the refund system or how long you could actually try the game and still refund it, I might have tried it longer and maybe I would change my mind about it. But then again, Probably not. Now, the way I see it, I believe that the DICE are purposely making these games as easy as possible to get into on all three platforms. Now, as much as the business strategy behind that is obvious, it just makes the games so boring. And now, with the release of Star Wars Battlefront 2, I feel like this is just getting worse. Now, by now, I'm pretty sure that most people are familiar with the drama around the loot crates and the so-called pay-to-win factor that uh, was, you know, was very controversial uh, at the release of this game. Now, a lot of people would say that, yeah, but uh, EA listened to the critics and they removed the system, so it's all good, right? But no, that doesn't in any way make it good. It makes it better and it, it makes them seem good that they listened to the community. But the thing is that the game was partly based on this really greedy system. And what's important to realize is that one thing will affect another thing that will affect another thing. It's, it's part of the, well in this case, the progress system, which is a big part of a game such as Star Wars Battlefront. And just removing the pay to win feature means that they have to change a lot of things. Because, you know, again, one thing affects another thing that affects another thing. And unfortunately, as most of us already know, just because you change a bad thing doesn't automatically make it, make it good. Hopefully it will at least be better, which is not in any way saying that it's good, but it might also be bad in just another way. So now there's another thing that I don't really like about Battlefront and, oh, battle, and some of the Battlefield games, and it's related to some of the repetitive things that we see on the map design, and that is choke points. Many times I find that uh, in order to progress on the map, you have to go through choke points with uh, f way too few alternatives, or alternative paths, I would say. And even though the two maps, uh, the two beta maps, wasn't all that bad in that regard, the more I played the full version of this game, the more I got annoyed by it. And that was, again, over the course of just a few hours. Now, some of you guys might be wondering, is there anything good to say about this game? And especially comparing it to Battlefield 1, yes, there are plenty of things about this game that is good and a lot better than Battlefield 1. So yeah, I'll bring up a few things here. The game seems to just generally work better. It seems like a finished game, while Battlefield 1 still to me seems like it's in beta, or like there are beta problems with it that should have been resolved about a year ago at least. Battlefield 1 has plenty of bugs that are related to moving around your character, and especially bugs related to animations that has to do with uh, your character's movement. Star Wars Battlefront 2 doesn't have animations for jumping over a wall, so you don't have any bugs related to that. This game doesn't have revives either, so obviously you don't have any bugs related to it either. Oh, that little... Damn! That little green thing! Now, for obvious reasons, there are limits when it comes to what the DICE can do with, well, both Star Wars Battlefront 2 and Battlefield 1, and probably some of the upcoming games as well. And in the case of this game, it has to be somewhat true to the Star Wars franchise. And in that regard, I have no complaints at all. I am a Star Wars fan, don't get me wrong, but I'm not hardcore enough as a fan 
to point out the flaws that uh, this game has when it comes to being true to the actual story or stories of Star Wars. Now I could probably go on and on and rant about this game if I put some effort into it, but I feel like there's really no point to it. Maybe you feel like you really like this game, and maybe what you see here makes you more interested in it, despite my opinions. Well, if that's the case, then just try it out and make up your own mind. This gameplay is recorded on PC, and it's on high graphic settings. I'm going to let the video continue here, so you'll get a little bit more of a feeling of what it looks like, and how it plays out. And other than that, you can expect more Battlefield 1 videos on my channel in the future, and I hope you will appreciate that. So yeah, my name is Matthias. And I want to thank you all for watching. Below like all the other people or should I... Was this the right place to go? Oh, I'm low, I'm low, I'm low. Uh, I didn't try it. Ah, sniper. Really, really boring maps though. What, what is with these boring maps?
Uh, 